Okay, um, so I'm going to talk about the parameter actions in the customer sequence Tableau. A bit of background for anyone who's not uh, totally familiar with the Tableau version. We do have a uh, like user constant, environment constant, that we can use to drive things. For audience, uh, just pay attention on the side. I created some parameter on for the region and nation. What I did is I can use click interactions in for well, best example, let's go for Argentina. So I can click it, I can feed in the data to change the constant, the parameters. Now that's something very useful because constant is good, you can across the platform, but a constant that can be dynamic is even better. That's when you can fully reach the potential of it. So let's go to get demo to see what we want to do with the thing. It's a very simple dashboard uh, in the view. So on the side, let's say we can click uh, on the region of Africa. Oh, please don't turn the heavens. Oh, that's gone for me. Um, so the intention is you click on a region name, you can change your view in the dashboard. If the talk didn't expire, that's a separate talk. <laughs> uh, now, of course, for most people, you can look at this thing is, okay, that's very simple, just filter actions. That's what you do for Tableau or any visualization tool, click and drag. There's nothing special about it. The trick, uh, let me get out of it. Let's actually go to the sheet on its own. Now, what I want to bring people's attention is actually on the left side, the pin. I created uh, there's two data source connections, connected to some database. But what you see here, even supposedly the chart is working, uh, there's no link between the fields. There's no relation, no joins, nothing. Here I can say the second chart, the land chart, is belong to the database too. So if there's no relationship between the two data sources, how do you make them talk to each other to drive them? And that's what the parameter action start kicking. So you can go further back, let's go to the data source. In the tableau, you get the options to increase, modify your SQL, you can customize yourself. So I gave you a lot more freedom to do things. So rather in the back end, getting the data in Tableau, manipulate it, you go to the data source to manipulate your things. Here, I already introduced them. So let's just click, say, um, customize. Now, what you see here, the highlighted, there's a parameter. It's a created in a Tableau environment. So I'm basically using Tableau talking to the data source directly to filter. You can always insert a parameter, give you a lot of freedom to do things. Now, the purpose of it, let's go back to, how to move my control now. Go back to my story. The purpose of it is I can start to show you the extraordinary joy I did over the weekend, which is the next sheet. Yes, sir. Well, then, uh, in the 21st century, data is explosive. There's data everywhere. We have database, a thick cloud database. The data is huge. And people are greedy. But often, they just click a drag. They don't even check how big that is. So in my current job, I feel that's what I need to fix is literally people dragging too much data. Why is Tableau not responding? Tableau is broken, it's slow. No, it's not slow. Check your data source. So that's what I want is. Quite often, you, you want to give an aggregation of data. So you can say on top, you have yearly data, monthly data. But you just need a line chart for the yearly data. You shouldn't download five years of worth for the rest 90% of the chart. What I want to do, ideally, you want to break things apart. You want to access layer, you want the, the data layer. Access, you want to aggregate different things, you let the user choose. You want a year, you can do it, but probably just select the field you want and aggregate differently. For the monthly, sure, you can download the last quarter, real data, that's good practice. But as you can see, demonstrating the example, the two different separate view is disconnected. You still want them to talk to each other. But what do you do? So that's a demonstration I tried to do today. I want to use parameter. So in the parameter, it's independent. In the Tableau environment, it's independent of data source. I can still set some kind of interaction, help you to link things up to answer your questions. Uh, lastly, idea lies for big data. Uh, I've been seeing this quite a bit. So I would recommend if you really have a large data set, well, you may actually just go to your very initial effects table to query what kind of columns in there, probably based on metadata, 
column size, maximum value. From those things, you can actually, as a try demonstrate, click a drag, you can select the column you want, then feeding, change the parameters, which feeds the actual query for the data, for the visualization. That should make a dashboard a bit more performance. Better. And the whole, and I'm pretty happy to talk to people in future about some set actions. The parameter itself is a string. If it's a string, you have a whole new world for you. You can do anything with a string. In theory, you can customize the entire query if you want. Set actions, parameter actions together, I think it has a huge potential. Thank you.